Hi guys, today I will be sharing a very easy recipe called pavlova roll or pavlova rollad. We need 4 egg whites that is at room temperature, 1 cup of sugar, 1 teaspoon of white vinegar, and 2 teaspoon of corn starch or corn flour. Before we start, we need to prepare the um, baking pan, line it with parchment paper, and then um, start beating the egg whites until it forms peaks. I'll be using my stand mixer, but of course you can use the handheld mixer. Once the um, consistency is like this, we can start adding the sugar um, a tablespoon at a time. So now we're gradually adding the sugar. while whisking continuously. And that's the last addition of the sugar. Now we're gonna continue to um, beat this until the meringue is glossy and all the sugar is dissolved, just like this. And now we can add the vinegar. And the corn flour or cornstarch. Just sift the cornstarch while adding it into the meringue. Using the folding method, mix all the ingredients together. And now we're gonna transfer this in the baking pan lined with parchment paper. Just like so. Place the meringue in blobs so it's easier to spread it out evenly. Again, just spread it out evenly. And then we will bake this in a preheated oven at 175 degrees Celsius for about 12 to 15 minutes or until the top is um, brown. I'll show you when it's done. And this is what it looks like after baking. At first, it will pop up, but as soon as it cools down, it will um, flatten a little bit. While that is cooling down, uh, we're going to prepare the cream. This is one cup of cream. And then I will add two and a half tablespoon of powdered sugar. And then I will beat this until it reach steep peaks. Just like so. I'll be using mango and strawberries that I cut in cubes and the strawberries I cut as well. So, th so this is um, what it looks like when it has cooled down. I have a tea towel and then baking paper on top which I am um, sprinkling with powdered sugar. And now I'm putting the meringue upside down. Make sure that the meringue um, has cooled down completely. That will take about half an hour. And then I will be spreading the whipped cream. Not too much. Just enough to cover the entire meringue. And then I will place the strawberries. And then the mangoes. Strawberries again. Yeah. 
and then I will roll this um, the long side in a Swiss roll just like so transfer in a cake platter and then we're ready to decorate the top this is optional and the decoration is up to you so I'm just putting whipped cream in a zigzag method and then I will randomly add the strawberries followed by the mangoes then once you're finished with the decoration you can let this chill in the fridge for a little bit before eating it and this is the finished product i hope you give them a try it's so easy to make only requires few ingredients you can choose whichever fruit you like to put in and then just to show you what it looks like inside when you cut the cake this dessert is very light there it is again thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week bye